Hello, this is Hassan with First Class Moving and Storage. Today I'm going to be showing you how to pack your dishes and your glassware. It's definitely something you could easily do yourself and save a lot of money. You can definitely hire movers or packers to do this for you. I'm going to show you the few steps. You will be able to do it with no problem. So for dishes and breakable items, it is best to use a heavy duty box such as the dish pack, which is basically a double wall box and that helps protect your breakables and the walls being double walled, when you stack two or three or even four dish packs on top of each other, the pressure will be on the walls on the sides of the box instead of being on the contents. So it is it costs a couple of dollars more, but it's highly recommended to use one of those. Uh, okay, for the top of the box, there's something that's very helpful that the manufacturer makes, uh, and I'll show you how that works. So what you do, before you close the bottom of the box, fold one of these sides down. Uh, you don't have to do the second side, but you can if you want to. It will keep the tops, the top flaps out of your way. I usually do only one because this is the side that's going to be facing me and I'll open it and then I go to the bottom and I'll show you how that works in a minute, quicker for you. Close one side and the other side. Good idea to close the seams as well to keep anything from getting in the box. And now you see what happened. So this one, it went down by itself. Uh, if you didn't have that, what you can do, you can take a piece of tape and tape it across to keep these flaps down and out of your way while you're packing. First, in the bottom of the box, you're gonna need a good amount of crumbled paper to keep the item, basically to keep a nice cushion at the bottom of the box. So crumble a few pieces of paper. After that, you start packing. Start with your heavier items. Uh, basically, your dishes, your largest dishes are going to be the heaviest. There are a couple of ways to do it. You can do each one individually. Just basically a piece of paper and probably give it one more piece of paper. And keep it nice and fluffy. It doesn't have to be too tight. And it's very important to put it standing up. You never want to put your dishes flat because they will crack. And the other way to do it, you can do several at one time. Take one, your first dish grab maybe three pieces of paper or maybe two wrap it bring your second plate a couple more pieces of paper and bring your third one you can do easily up to four and just wrap it around basically as long as your dishes are not touching each other as long as the glass is not touching each other you're good to go after that give it probably another piece of paper keep it nice and tight and you are good to go with that as well. With your bowls and cups, I usually take the first piece of paper and try to stuff the inside a little bit to keep the pressure kind of even. Another piece of paper. Again, it doesn't have to be too tight. It doesn't have to be perfect. The fluffier it is, the better actually. You're creating a cushion around it. Basically, that's all you're doing. And when you're done with the first layer, give it a couple of pieces of paper, just a little bit of separation between the layers and continue building layers inside your box basically. And when it comes to your mugs, they are not that big, so one piece of paper should be enough for each one. Same thing with your glasses. And continue building layers. Piece of paper that keeps everything nice and fluffy. And when it comes to your stemware, these definitely are going to go on top of everything because they are so fragile. And uh, I would use more than one piece of paper. Try to get as much paper on the stem as you can because this is the most fragile part of it. So try to like do a little bit of wrapping around the stem and then get your second piece to wrap the whole thing. And definitely these will go standing up. If not, again, there will be liable to crack and basically when you're done any uh, obviously you fill the box more than that uh, when you're done any gaps that you have around your items you need to fill with paper you want to keep everything nice and tight you don't want things moving around or shaking and on top of the box you want to give it a few layers of crumbled paper to fill the empty space 
and that will keep everything nice and tight. And now you can go ahead and cut that part out, cut the other one out, and we're ready to seal our box. Do not use your teeth on this. Your dentist is not gonna like it. And when you're done, basically get yourself a little magic marker and write where the box came from, very important, and what's in the box. Write on it, fragile, it does say fragile. Or you can get yourself some stickers from Uline, Amazon, online, very inexpensive, and just put it on your box. It will make your life a little bit easier. And That's pretty much it. This is how simple that was. Uh, you do the work yourself, you will save a lot of money. You can pack a couple boxes a day. Before you know it, all your breakables are packed. Again, I'm Hassan with First Class Moving and Storage. Thanks for watching, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys.